Oh, it's held me down. Oh, no! Ah. Not my fault. Yo, I am back with yet another video. Someone suggested that I add the visibility check to the aimbot. So here we go. Today, you will learn how to combine the spotted state and the simple aimbot to make the visibility aimbot. This feature, when activated, will only enable the aimbot once someone is visible on the radar. So if you hold the aimbot key when no one is spotted, you won't aim at him. But once they do get spotted, if you hold the aimbot key, it will aim on them. Subscribe, like, or write a comment. I would love to hear the next feature you want me to cover. You can also find the Discord server in the description. But remember, comply with the terms of service for the game you're coding hacks on. Many games permit it and it's essential to respect their guidelines. All Sweat C Sharp tutorials are designed with multiplayer disabled and this tutorial will precisely demonstrate how to achieve that. Now enjoy this tutorial. Welcome to another showcase. Let's take a look at what you will have at the end of this tutorial. Here we have the final project and you can see here that it's the simple aimbot tutorial but with a bonus feature. We will now have the option to only aim on spotted entities. This means if they are or visible on the minimap, which means if they're spotted, the aimbot will aim on, aim on them. This is a feature to sort of filter out those entities who aren't spotted. Let's take a look at it in game. So before we run any application that manipulates the game's memory, we will go into Steam under the game Counter-Strike 2. We will right click on the properties. We will add the launch option dash insecure. This is because without this, you can risk getting banned. Dash insecure will disable VAC and we can play on our own without harming anyone else's experience. So we can't join the normal matchmaking, but we can sit in a practice game all to ourselves and test our applications. So incredibly important, we can get banned otherwise. Inside the main menu, you can check that this is enabled by going into matchmaking checking a map and this window will come up saying that you have launched the game in Dash Insecure. Otherwise, do not run any applications that could get you banned. Here you can now instead go into practice and play with bots like this. Okay, so on a practice game on Mirage, we will showcase this visibility aimbot feature. If we open the final project and run it, if the code is correct and the offsets are updated, we should now have a window with aimbot and also the new feature only aim on spotted enemies. Now, if I hold the aim key, nothing happens, but when I move to some enemies, let's see if there is... Uh, you can see that now we aim on the enemies. Hold the aim key, nothing happens because we don't see any enemies. We see enemies, it aims. Holding the aim key, nothing. We see them and it aims. A cool feature but because we use the spotted attribute you will see them if your entities spot them 
So that's something to keep in mind. It isn't 100% uh, only your visibility, your field of view factor. It can trigger when they make noises or so on because they, sp they get spotted on the map. But it's still a pretty cool feature and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please let me know uh, the next suggestions you have for me and I will try my best to do them. Alright, so we will start this tutorial by opening the external aimbot for Counter Strike 2. So you can either watch the previous tutorial, the link will be in the description, or get it directly from the coffee page if you remember. The first thing we will do is to open the offsets.cs file. Now, the next step will be to update the old offsets from the simple aimbot because the game has updated between the video and this video. We will also have to get a new offset, but at first, let's update the old ones. So I will just quickly go through it and you guys can follow if you haven't updated them either. You can find these offsets in the A2X CS2 dumper. The link will be in the description and under the generated folder. Let's add some new offsets. So the first one will be the entity spotted state. There are multiple instances of this in the client.dll.cs file, but we need one that's under the CS player pawn base. Then it's the B spotted offset. We will use both of these when we read the spotted state. Now to read the actual value, we will go down to our entity loop and add a boolean spotted and assign it the value of sweat.readbool with the current pawn and then the offsets entity spotted states plus B spotted. We can almost now simply check if the entity is spotted, but let's go into our renderer to add the checkbox that you saw in the showcase. We will need a boolean for this checkbox, so let's assign one. Aim only on spotted, which will be default to false. After that, in the renderer loop, we can add a checkbox with the text only aim on spotted enemies and refer to this very boolean. We can now go back to the program.cs file and add the check if spotted equals false and renderer.aim only on spotted is set to true. We will continue or skip this entity. This means we will only add the entities who are spotted in this case. Let's remove this thread.sleep statement to make the aimbot more fast. Alright, let's try it out in game. So, before we run any application that manipulates the game's memory, we will go into Steam under the game Counter Strike 2. We will right click on the properties. We will add the launch option dash insecure. This is because without this, you can risk getting banned. Dash insecure will disable back and we can play on our own without harming anyone else's experience so we can't join the normal matchmaking but we can sit in a practice game all to ourselves and test our applications so incredibly important you can get banned otherwise all right so on a practice game on mirage we will take our project and uh, try it out. If everything is correct, the code and the offsets are updated, we should now have a working visibility aimbot. Let's check the aimbot and the only aim on spotted enemies. Now, oh, I don't have the HUD, but I hold the aim key now. And once I see an enemy, it aims. There, I hold the aim key, nothing. I see him, it aims, it snaps. Let's hold the aim key. We spotted an enemy. 
like that. Let's get the HUD icon. You can see, if you see the red dot on the map, it means the aimbot will trigger on it. It aims on the closest one, because this is the simple aimbot, but you know, you can have the FOV, the whatever sort of other method, but it will aim on those entities who are spotted. So I hold the aim key now, it aims on no one. But when we see the enemies, you can see that directly aims on, on the enemies. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed.